Hello, and welcome to the OpenSolar and QCell partnership video. OpenSolar is excited to feature QCells as an exhibitor on our platform, and we are happy to assist QCell dealers with this training session to get you started on the OpenSolar platform and make sure the QCell products are active on your account. In this video, we'll cover a general overview of the OpenSolar platform, setting up your QCell materials, and designing your first system. OpenSolar is the world's first free for installers end-to-end -end solar enterprise application. It's white labeled, meaning that solar businesses use their own branding to present their offerings to customers and certified solar professionals can shape the platform to promote their products and their brand. With QCell now exhibiting on the platform, you'll have additional resources to help you educate your customers on the benefits of solar and specifically QCell products. Here, we're looking at the My Energy proposal. This is exactly what your customer will see. We have multiple system options set up, as well, multiple payment options set up. And as you select them, the proposal will automatically calculate and show the updated information. As you can see, when I switch between a battery and solar only, all of our key figures are updating. Here you can select various payment options. Also here on the right side, your customer can accept the proposal and pay the deposit. Any system financing will be up at the top. You'll have your terms and conditions, including a contract if you wish, listed here for your customer. They can accept the T's and C's and either sign with their mouse or finger on a tablet and hit confirm and pay. Moving down on the left side, you have your key information as well as any aerial imagery of the house with the solar system on it you've created in my studio. Moving down under system hardware, this is where you first see that QCell additional information listed in images, branding, videos, additional details, and spec sheets, all at the fingertips of you and your customer. Over on the right, you can see what non-exhibited material looks like as well. So you can see it really bolsters your proposal by using the QCell exhibited material. Scrolling down, see system performance, environmental benefits, electricity bill savings. Here's a quotation for cash. As you can see by switching it to the loan, it automatically updates any incentives, their net financial impact, both on a cumulative and annual, graphics on how your system will work. And here you'll have your logo, any case studies about your company, and you can also download the proposal as a PDF. Now, let's make sure Q cells are updated in your instance to use that exhibited content. For that, we're gonna to move to the control zone. On the left-hand side, under design and hardware, we're gonna select modules, and we're gonna hit the plus create button on the top right-hand corner, and I'm just gonna enter QPeak. And as you can see, all the QPeak modules are now listed, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this G6 plus 340 all module data will now be listed down here. You can also enter your cost of goods sold per unit, and you can make that your default if you wish. Don't forget to hit save. And now we're gonna move over to our project zone. Selecting the project zone and double clicking that, you're gonna have the list view of all your projects, which you can filter to by hitting add filter on the top right-hand corner. You can do it by team member, tag, stage, actions completed, among other. But here I'm going to create a new project. And to do that, I'm going to hit the new project on the top right-hand corner. I'm going to start to enter my address and select that from the dropdown. You can pick whether it's residential or commercial, enter first name, last name, phone number, and email. And by opening up add more details, you can add a tag. 
a priority, assign a team member or any notes, as well select your electricity usage. We offer high, low, medium estimates as well. You can enter daily, monthly, quarterly, annual, or even hourly interval data. I'm just going to select an estimate here. If you hit create design, you'll be taken right to the studio to begin designing your system. If you hit create view, which we'll do now, you'll be taken to the project page. So here's your project page. You'll have your address, any contacts that you've entered here as well. You can add a secondary contact too. over on the right hand side. You have that CRM functionality uh, with your actions on your various stages. Again, these actions are completely customizable in the control zone so you can make them match your business processes. Once you have your system designed in your My Energy proposal where you'd like it, this send invitation will be green and all you need to do is click that and that will send the proposal or the invitation to view the proposal, I should say, to your customer. Moving down, you can add any planned activities, track project history, enter any sales and service data, as well as any site details. You can update your electricity usage if you're using an estimate to begin with and then got your actuals here. You can confirm you're on your the right current utility tariff rate here, as well as if you're proposing a new rate after solar, you can enter that here. You can pick between your various proposal templates, any contract templates or setback and design settings under this proposal section too. And add, add any installation and compliance information uh, during in after installation here or upload any project specific files by hitting the upload button down at the bottom. Now we'll move to the studio page. Where we'll be designing our system. As you can see, here's our home. Anything in this white box is going to be what's shown on the My Energy proposal. So you want to make sure your house is nice and centered on there. You can either use your mouse or the plus minus buttons here to scroll in and out. Adding a panel group is as simple as hitting the plus panel button at the top and left clicking to add your array. You then get your array grid and just by left clicking, you can add or subtract panels. I'm going to just do a nice square here. By clicking the move horizontal button over on the left hand side, you'll get this yellow bubble by left clicking and dragging. You can move that whole array to square it up on that roof. You can also fine tune your slope and azimuth here, either by manually entering the number or using the arrows, you can also pick your orientation too. Panels, I have the QPeak 335 watt set up as my default, but if I wanted to change that, I could just hit select and maybe I wanna use the 345s on this installation. So I'm gonna just hit select. That will automatically update those. Similarly, you can add an inverter or a battery as well here or any other components. Moving down, you can select your, your various pricing schemes, which are all set up in the control zone. We offer price per watt or markup based on COGS uh, and costing you've entered. Incentives, similarly, I have the federal ITC set up as my default, but you can add additional uh, rebates that you have in your area or any one-offs that are either uh, claimed by you, the installer, or claimed by your customer. Also under payment options, you'll have your defaults, which mine is that 4.9920 year loan in cash, but you can also add any additional payment options you'd like on the project basis here by hitting the override button and then selecting. To show a second system, all you'll need to do is hit the plus system button at the top. Duplicating, hitting duplicate, system that will give you a carbon copy of what you've already designed. If you hit a new system, you'll get a blank slate again. I'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate system. And for this one, I'm going to add a battery. So I'll hit the plus battery button. And here I have that enter charge set up as my default. So that'll be added. The naming convention of these tabs, that will be what's seen on the My Energy proposal. It automatically defaults to the number of panels but you can go ahead and edit it by hitting the edit button on the right hand side. And I'll say 4.1 kilowatt with battery and I'll hit save. And then I'll hit 4.1 
kilowatt solar only and save. Now moving to my energy proposal, I'll hit save and continue. And you can see quickly in a matter of minutes, we've created two systems and a beautiful proposal for you to show your customer. Now moving to the control zone, I will just go highlight some of the key areas here under company, uh, updating business info. That's going to be your address, email, logo, uh, color scheme. You can add your team members here, both on an admin and non-admin basis and update any additional settings. Pricing and payments, that's where you're gonna set up your pricing scheme, payment options, and costing information. We went through design and hardware to add modules. Uh, similarly, it's the same process for inverters or batteries or other components too. And under purchase experience, this is where you're gonna set up your various proposal templates, contract templates, and fine tune that checkout experience. If you do run into any issues along the way, please feel free to hit the support button on the bottom right hand corner. And you can go ahead and visit our help center we have a great training package set up for new users, which walks you through all the various parts of open solar. As well, I always like to point out this search bar functionality at the top is one of the most powerful tools here. So please feel free to enter in any, any term uh, you're getting stuck with and it will return all the relevant articles from our help center to get you through that. Additionally, you can email support at Open Solar with any of your questions and we'll get back to you with solutions. We also offer uh, three weekly webinars, um, which you're welcome to join, uh, going over a general overview of Open Solar and Advanced Studio Design, where we deep dive that studio page and a deep dive into the control zone. So you can sign up for those here under uh, the webinar button or at our homepage at opensolar.com. That's a wrap for this demo. All of us here at Open Solar are thrilled to have you on our toolkit. Have a great day.